Hello, this is a Lockthon Plays, and the newest items in the Quick Shop, Quick Silver Shop, have recently unlocked, and I thought I would show how those are, how, how those are affected by the color options and how big and, and small they can get. I happen to have a base on the most boring planet in No Man's Sky, on the flattest, most boring area. It's not my favorite base, but it comes in handy for things like this, and I have to apologize right here because my controller is really flaky these days. But I wanted to show what these look like when they're placed and how big and small they can get, and then in a second I will show how the color options change things. So over here we have the rocks, so they can get itty itty bitty. Uh, this is the size here in the front that it is by default, and that's as big as it gets. So smallest, default, big, etc. for those. And the same for these. The writhing bush is a cool name. Uh, smallest there on the left, uh, default in the yellow, and as big as it gets in the whitish. Can't remember what these ones are called. Entwined, maybe? Mm. These get pretty big. Smallest, medium, or default, big. Smallest, default, big. And there is my uh, pilgrim for scale. Let me get in here and so you can really see. That they get pretty big. Alright, so. Let's see what they look like with the different color options. Rocks. We like to start with rocks. I have a background in geology, so I will start with rocks. Okay, so the marine rock, these all default to green when you start them, but the last one I built was yellow. So, um, in the rocks, the color is only affects the, uh, the thing on top of it, the, the uh, attachment. In this case, it's, it's starfish. So if, let me go to the orange and white one here. That's also green. That's not helpful. But they're different color greens. Okay. Dang it, I thought I had this. Let's go here. Yeah, okay. So that one, um, it's affected by, I think, the outside color. So in this case, it should be yellowish instead of black. Okay, so that's what's true for the mer The base of the rock is always the same color, uh, copperish, bronzes, and then the starfish color is affected by the outside color. So this would be black, this one would be whiter. Of course, it, it defaults to sort of a greenish, so you, you're changing this color green with the... with the outside color you're affecting it. So that's the marine rocks and I think the other ones work the same. The mineral arch, this one is what it looks like in white and it's a pretty bronzy color. This is what it looks like in black and it's pretty black, some nice, uh, uh, you know, I am not coming up with any decent mineral names. I'm not a very good geologist, I must say. And then purple. And then let's go to the gem encrusted. Since he's all the. F let, let me go there. Ta da! Not surprising, it's green. Woo! I am so clever. Orange. Wait a second, that one's white, so maybe this one is affected by, yeah, this one, for whatever reason, is affected by the inside color instead of the outside color. So black, instead of being black, is going to be yellow. If we want black, we need to go over here to the gray. That looks like a nice tourmaline, kind of, doesn't it? Okay, so, plants. Uh, the right bush was first. And I just made this one big. I am pretty sure that's not the default size, but maybe it is. Uh, green. Looks pretty green. Big, big surprise there. 
let's go to orange. So in this case, the the underlying flesh is orange and the circles are white. So one with the center here. Yeah, nah. I've been thinking for a while that these re remind me of blue ringed oct octopus, which are terribly cute, tiny octopus, however, they're massively uh, uh, poisonous, so don't get them as pets. Some people do that. They're really, really poisonous. Okay, so the umbrella tree, if I put it in uh, orange and white, doesn't seem to have done much, does it? Maybe I need to make it smaller so I can see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so if I change it to orange and tealish. Oh, oh, that's right. The leaves are the only thing that are affected by these. So now the, the, the leaf is teal. Leaf is teal. Let's make it white. So, but the center uh, purple ball and and the and the stem are always the same color. All right, and then we have last the entwining tree. Let's make it small so we can see it. Stupid clouds are changing the color of, of my background. Okay, this is white and red. Let's see, I haven't actually played with this one at all yet, so I have no idea. Is it the leaves that that are changing here? Yeah. Okay. It's again the leaves and it's taking the inside color so the black and yellow is it's gonna take the yellow and if we go with white and orange it's gonna be orange yeah okay so that's what these look like um, and again let me just run over and do the sizes again just so you can get a good view. Me for scale. Ah, that's really kind of abrupt, isn't it? Still pretty bright. These can get pretty big. I like that option. And I've already tried. These can all be placed inside of a freighter. And they can also be placed inside a building. So, there you go. That's what all of the new uh, uh, Quicksilver options are like. And the next ones coming out will be bobbleheads, which can be placed inside your ship. Right now, there's one of Nada and one of Polo. I hope you have a great day. And if you are in quarantine, or just in social distancing because of COVID-19. I hope you and your loved ones stay healthy. Thank you very much.